I was in my early 30s and I was suffering from these really bad migraines. And so I went to a doctor and when I went to the doctor, it, you know, I was diagnosed with having very high blood pressure. And at one point, this doctor said to me, he said, well, you know, none of these medications are going to work if, um, if you continue to eat, you know, so much can fried food and canned goods. So I, I got the feeling he was coming at me from a place of bias. So I left that doctor and I went to another doctor. That doctor said to me, well, even if it was a long time ago, if you've used hard drugs like cocaine and things like that, it can affect the efficiency of these drugs. And once again, I don't know where he got that. That was nothing that we had ever discussed. And I definitely never in my life had ever used any type of hard drugs or anything. I called my HMO and I say, I need to find a doctor. And they, they said, well, the only doctor we can get you into today is at a women's clinic. And I said, I, I don't care. I'm just in discomfort. I need to see a doctor. It was the first time that I actually had a dialogue with the doctor. And we talked and she asked me questions about, about my lifestyle. And at one point she said to me, based on what I know about you, it doesn't make any sense that we're having such a hard time controlling your blood pressure. So I want you to go to a nephrologist. And it was after going and seeing that nephrologist um, that I learned that I likely uh, had FSGS and la later was diagnosed with FSGS. FSGS is a form of kidney disease where your kidneys get scarred and because of that scarring they're not filtering properly and the way that we discover it is extremely easy is just testing your urine for protein. So my you know my journey with this started in 2002 um, I didn't find out about APO1 till 2018 since no one really is an expert in it, I decided that the most important thing for me is to know as much as I can about myself. So that's what made me uh, decide that I think genetic testing was, you know, I was very comfortable with the positives that could possibly come out of it as opposed to worrying about the, the negatives. Honestly, it made me feel in some ways a little bit, um, a little bit relieved that, okay, I didn't develop this kidney disease based off of bad habits or neglect. I think it does make it a little bit easier to be an advocate for yourself and for other people if you feel like, hey, this is just what life gave you. It really wasn't, it's not your fault. We could probably change some of the stigma around, around chronic kidney disease if people were more aware of it. And, and if you know you have the gene and you have a propensity uh, for it or the possibility of bec becoming someone who's going to suffer from chronic kidney disease. You know, maybe there's some lifestyle changes or things that are easier for people to, to implement at an earlier time. The best thing you can do for yourself is get as much information as you can. And if you have the opportunity, whether it's doing over-the-counter test or whether it's, you know, the doctor that you regularly go to, their hospital system is doing some sort of ge genetic testing. It's good for you to have the information, all the information you can get so that you can make sure you can advocate for yourself.